This has been a great year for Marvel. I mean, really. Big Hero 6 is a new recent animated film by the same people who have made films such as Wreck-It Ralph and Frozen, and based on a Marvel comic. And it's about this teenager who lives in a mix-up city of San Francisco and Tokyo, well, they name it San Francisco. So anyway, he is a robot fighter, using model robots to fight other robots, kind of like BattleBots. So everything seems to be great with him, until something really tragic happens in the film. Somebody dies. It's shocking. And now there's a bad guy out there, who is using eeny weeny teeny weeny nanobots as weapons. So how is this bad guy going to be stopped? Well the kid has four buddies who has some cool inventions and a cute giant balloon robot named Baymax who is just awesome. And that is the keyword to this review. Awesome. This movie has a great story, has some great characters, great action scenes, themes, and emotions. First and favorite, let's talk about this big fella. I mean, <laughs> this guy... He's just likable. This robot kinda reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 2. He doesn't know any better. He is a medical robot who heals people and all that stuff. But according to his design, you can see the flaws. The thing cannot run, punch, or even kick a door, which I find very humorous. So now he is armored and now he could do all of that. Whenever he speaks, <laughs> it is hilarious. And he takes things out of context. There was this scene where Baymax accidentally scares the kid out of nowhere and the kid is like, huh, you almost gave me a heart attack. And Baymax is like, Claire. And the kid is like, whoa, not literally. So throughout the movie, the kid teaches him things kind of like John Connor and the Terminator. I mean, this robot, I love him, man. He's awesome. The characters are likable. They both have different personalities, which is helpful in the film. And the villain kind of reminds me of No Face from Spirited Away. The action scenes and the visuals are amazing as well. But one of the most important thing about the film is the emotion. There are other times that we laugh, and then there are other times that we just feel awful about what just happened in the story. And you stay connected to these characters. And when you see them fighting the villain, it just feels good. And you just want to cheer for them. Especially these two. And when things are not going well, you just want to say, Ah. Ah, oh, man. Just like How to Train Your Dragon 2, this movie does have some important lessons. This time about death and how to cope with it. And the movie demonstrate this really well. There was one intense moment when we find out the main twist and things just go really bad, really angry, really sad, and you just can't believe that this is happening. And you just feel so bad for the characters. And you just say, ah oh, no, things just got real. This film is just really brilliant. It might not be as bright as How to Drain Your Dragon 2, but this film is definitely watchable. The jokes are funny, the action, the characters, and the script is great. This film is not just for kids, but for adults like me to enjoy. This film is like Terminator 2 and the Avengers smash into one. All you need to do is just downgrade this movie to a PG rating. And there you go, a family movie. Big Hero 6 gets 9 Baymax robots out of 10. So go ahead, see this movie, you're going to have fun. So that's it, that is my take of Big Hero 6. Thank you for watching. More reviews on the way. What do you say, buddy? Whee! Okay, let's get you back in your luggage.